What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and another video on the BMW today. Now then, today's video is going to be a little bit different and that is due to the fact that I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing today. I only know that I have a problem and that problem is that ever since I bought the car like three or four months ago, the radio and TV signal has never been great and it's generally been a case of them either working or not. There's never really been any in between that would indicate that you are losing signal. They either seem to work or they say no signal. Now a lot of you may be thinking, well it's the diversity antenna which I'm led to believe is a pretty big problem on the BMW E60 and E61 5 series. But before I go ahead and shell out a whole bunch of money for a brand new diversity antenna, which I would buy a brand new part, I really don't see the point in putting a, another problematic used part on the car only for this problem to reoccur in a few months time. So before I go ahead and do that, I want to make sure that is the part that is the problem. Now the reason that I'm led to believe it may not be the problem is that when I use the heated rear windscreen, the signal seems to drop completely. And so because the diversity antenna is connected to the rear windscreen, I'm thinking maybe it's the rear windscreen that may be the problem. So I think what I'm gonna do is disconnect the diversity antenna, see if there's any obvious problems with it, you know, see if any of the components on it look corroded and maybe try and clean up the contact points that it makes, you know, contact with the rear windscreen, you know, see if I can see any problems there and uh, put everything back together and then see if we have any better success. But first though, I just wanna see if I can show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the radio on. So we'll put the ignition on. Okay, so we'll start the engine up so we don't kill the battery. Now then, as you will see, see the radio, the signal isn't the greatest to be honest already, but if I put the heated windscreen on, look, it just changes to no signal. And if I turn it off, still no signal, but you could, you, you dig, oh, there we go, signal back. Let's put it on, no signal. Turn it off, it takes a minute. But there we go, we get signal back. So it's definitely something to do with the rear windscreen, I'm guessing. Now we have the TV as well, so we'll see if it does the same thing. So TV on, heated rear windscreen, and there it goes off, no signal. Turn it off, and there we go. So it's got to be, it's got to be a problem with that rear windscreen, it's got to be. Okay then, so we are in the back of the car now and the diversity antenna itself is located underneath the headliner and it's around about here. So first thing I need to do is remove this trim panel, which I believe there is a small little bolt behind the airbag badge. So I need to clip that off and uh, remove this trim panel and hopefully I can gain access underneath the headliner to the diversity antenna. Okay, so that's a little cap off and it looks like a T20 or T25 bolt. Well, this should come away now. Okay then, so because there is an airbag just there, that's the curtain airbag, I think what I'm gonna do is just for safety, I know I would probably be all right anyway, but I don't wanna short anything, you know, there's a lot of electrical connectors and whatever else, but I think just for safety, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery in the boot. And with the negative terminal disconnected, we should be good to proceed. And I'm actually gonna remove this 
cover at the back. This is the cover for the third brake light. It's held in by clips, but it seems a little bit too tough. I don't want to like snap anything, so I just need to try and be gentle with this. Maybe, maybe if I can get a trim tool in there. I don't know. Okay, so managed to get this off. It's just two clips at the back and then um, sort of two clips at the front. I just wasn't pulling hard enough. That just comes down like that. And now this isn't the diversity antenna. As I said, this is the third brake light. The diversity antenna, we should now be able to see if we fold this back. It runs along there, so I'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to get access to it, but we need to try and unplug it first, I think. Or oh, we'll be able to clip that down. I don't know yet. But as you can see, access isn't great, so I do apologize if the camera angle isn't the best. Okay then, so we're getting somewhere. Managed to get the diversity antenna loose, but it's still plugged in on both sides, so I need to unplug this from here. There we go. And then uh, it looks like there's a ground wire and then another plug here. That is the earth wire out, and that is all of the connectors out. Now, this is one more on this end, but now I can just go ahead and unplug this, I think. Okay then, so we have the diversity antenna removed. Now, just having a look at the connector pins where it connects with the windscreen itself. Now. A couple of them do look a little bit dirty and this one the pin is completely bent back now I'm guessing it's more than likely that just happened while I was removing it now obviously it could also have always been like that but I uh, you know very much highly doubt it um, but regardless anyway I am gonna give all of these a good clean I'll also give the uh, connectors themselves a good clean this earth cable i'll give that a good clean and then what i'll do is all of the contact points on the windscreen itself i will give them a good clean now then if you can see that right there is the current state of what the windscreen surface looks like so as you can see very dirty cloudy and it's probably not helping the course so i think first thing is just to clean them up and uh, hopefully that should give us a better contact surface now to clean them what i'm going to use is just some electrical contact cleaner and a paper towel going to spray this on i'm not going to go ahead and spray it all over my rear windscreen i'm just going to spray it onto the paper towel and give it a good wipe okay then so wiped the windscreen surfaces themselves managed to get a little bit of dirt off but not a whole bunch uh, now what i'm going to do is clean these clips where it makes contact with the windscreen and then i'll prise them up and make sure they have a good contact and then obviously i'll uh clean up the connectors and reinstall all of those as well. And just like that, we are back in. The diversity antenna has been reinstalled and we've connected everything up. So these little coaxial cables, I think they are. And then this earth wire, and then this connector there. And there's 
this connector somewhere here yeah there so that's all plugged back in i think what i'm going to do now is connect the battery back up and first of all just make sure that the radio works you know because if not then obviously we have a problem with something that i've done today so yeah i need to make sure that the radio works first and then we'll see if there's any improvement at all and now is the moment of truth so we'll just start the car up okay so it's on the TV and yeah signal isn't the best still but let's go on to the radio yeah no signal no signal at all now Drinks. Actually, that's from fondue. It's a different forfeit, shouldn't it, for a pile do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay then, so after I plugged the diversity antenna back in, I was a little bit worried because I saw no signal on all of the radio stations. I thought maybe I've you know missed something out, maybe I haven't plugged something in right, maybe I've damaged the contacts or something like that. Um, but then I just took it for like a 10-15 minute drive. It's pretty much as soon as I got off my drive, I regained signal, which is all good. So um, I didn't actually lose signal on the radio side of things throughout the entire sort of 10-15 minutes I was driving. Now, interesting thing is though, the TV signal, although it did, you know, keep cutting out, you know, I did have no signal at some points, it actually seemed a little bit better than usual. You know, it, it, like there was good sort of two, three minutes where the TV was just working as it should. You know, there was good pitch quality, good sound quality, and um, that's really surprising. So, you know, I don't know if something that I have done, you know, cleaning up the contacts and whatever else, I don't know if that has done some good or not. I guess, you know, we kind of still don't know what the problem is. You know, I, I, I don't know whether just to go ahead and buy a new diversity antenna. I don't know whether just to go ahead and get the rear windscreen replaced and then hopefully that would solve that issue. I really don't know what to do. So I guess I'm looking for some guidance now. If any of you guys have had this problem and you've managed to rectify it, then uh, please, please, please just let me know. The only thing that's really, you know, kind of making me think that the diversity antenna isn't completely broken now is the fact that my key reception is still really good that because i heard that if your diversity antenna goes bad that you have to sort of be like two three meters away from your car just to lock and unlock it but i can be like 20 30 meters away and the key reception is still good so i really don't get that you know it's it's things really aren't adding up please if you do have any suggestions you have any thoughts so I am sorry that we didn't get to the end result that we was looking for, you know, I was hoping that we could get to a situation where the TV and the radio would just work perfectly as they should. But, um, you know, we tried, that's how things go sometimes, uh, we're still no closer to finding out the problem. Um, but if any of you guys, you know, do have any thoughts please let me know i want to thank you guys for watching please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and i will see you guys 
in that next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.